What is going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in to a special episode of John's Fishing Channel. This is actually the first time um, I'll be bass fishing out in Southern California. I've hired a guide. Um, I'm starting my trip today. Uh, it's Sunday night and uh, I will be headed out actually right now. I'm headed out to my uncle's house where I will stay for the night. Um, and then from there, I'll be driving another hour. He lives about an hour away. I'll be driving about an hour and 20 minutes uh, to Castaeus Lake, which is north of Ventura, California. Uh, and I'm going to be fishing with a guy by the name of Rich. I'll put his information uh, in the description below, but it should be really, really fun. So this effectively starts my trip, uh, the first leg of it anyways, and then tomorrow uh, we'll be on the lake by about 5.30 and it should be hopefully a really exciting day of fishing. I'm looking forward to catching some big fish and hopefully bringing you guys another great John's Fishing Channel video. All right, let's do this. Alrighty guys. Well, I was gonna say, it sure is dark out there. I always forget to open up the, uh, the camera lens. Hopefully you can see me. Six in the morning, we're hitting the road. What's going on? I've been on the road for a while now. I'm headed up to Lake Casitas. I've got the name correct now. Um, and we should be there shortly. Uh, it's Monday. We should be some of the only people on the lake. It'll be really exciting. Um, but yeah, I've got to hop on the 126 and head to Ventura. Alrighty, so we're at the right lake. We're on the water. Lake Casitas. Not to be like, not to be confused with Castaeus Lake. Uh, but it's a, a no body contact lake, which is kind of interesting. So you can't actually go swim in here, uh, wakeboarding, skiing, uh, fishing in a flow tube, waiting. You can't actually touch the water. Um, so I'll try not to fall in today, but hopefully... Here's our guide, Rich Tauber. Uh, he'll be taking us out today in this fantastic looking boat. Um, but hopefully we catch a lot of fish. So let's see what happens. This is a shad net, not a fishing net. Yeah. See how long the handle is. That's a good 12 feet. 16. 10 feet, 16, pretty long. And we're going to be netting our bait, uh, live bait, to use in the lake today, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, which is a uh, threadfin shad, live shad. And we're doing this because in California, you can't introduce new species into pretty much established lakes. Right. Are we following the birds? Yes, well, there's uh, some grebes in here, which are fish eaters. That bird over there with the white neck, black back, red eyes. It's called a grebe, Western grebe. Okay. And that bird eats shad. Cool. And so therefore, we have a good feeling that there's some bait here. And do shad just kind of swim along the surface and kind yeah, of cruise in schools? Yeah, they come by in a, almost like a cloud-like effect. Neat. Now one of the things that's gonna happen here John is I'm gonna yell get back. Okay. When I do that, because I'm gonna hit you with this stick. Yeah. Okay, so just be ready. All right. You're okay right now, but if you hear me yell, you jump down on the lower part, please. Sounds good. Be able to hit. Try to avoid getting whacked by the pole today. <laughs> the first of the live bait. All right, so we've hit the water. Uh, we're throwing baits. I'm throwing the. Uh, the double blade buzz bait up there using a bait caster today, which is a little different from my normal setup. I don't use them a lot, but they're uh, they're really good uh, quality reels to use. Uh, they're really reliable. And once you learn how to use them, you can really work them really well. So hopefully we catch fish here. Uh, we're working along the bank nice and slow. This is a reservoir, so we have uh, some really just steep drop-offs all the way down. It probably drops off. It drops off to about 20 or 30 feet below us, so you can you know kind of see the bank. <laughs> Cutting it off below us. But it's a beautiful day out here, you know, we're just working our baits nice and slow, fishing the shoreline, and hopefully pull something out here. All right, so Rish has hooked the first fish of the day. What are you fishing with? This is a topwater bait called a Zaro Spook. A Zaro Spook, and it kind of, you work it back and forth, kind of swims towards the boat. Yeah. Represents some sort of fish. Mm -hmm. Bait fish, yeah. Nice one. Man, he hit that pretty hard, didn't he? Yeah, they uh, really get after it. Oh, that's a decent looking fish right there. Wow, fantastic. Mm. Wow.
tired. Wow, nice fish. There you go. That is the f that is that is a nice fish. Green, beautiful. Got the nice black stripe there. This is a, a super spook, which is a which is a this is a stock color. Stock color. Do you find that the the yellow, the shark tooth color, does that do good out here? Yes, really good. It All mimics right. the the shad, the back of the shad. Cool. Which is kind of a green color. Like you look right in here at the shad. They have like a green back like that. Okay, cool. Okay. That is beautiful. I'm gonna get a picture with that guy just in case we don't catch yeah. another one all day. <laughs> all right guys, so we've been out here for about an hour fishing and uh, I missed a pretty big one with my buzz bait. It was about 15 feet offshore. It hit it pretty hard. It was kind of a bummer that I wasn't able to uh, set the hook, but uh, hopefully we'll catch another one here. And uh, it's a nice day out on Lake Castellas. Casitas. Casitas. It's a nice day out on Lake Casitas. All right, guys, so I just missed a fish again for the second time, but it was actually really, really an exciting strike. Uh, we were fishing about 40 feet from shore, and there's about 10 feet of weeds in between the shore and us right up close there. Um, and we actually saw the fish track the bait for about 10 to 12 feet. He came right out of the weeds and struck the lure, and we saw kind of like a, I would say, a black lightning bolt come right for it. And I probably missed the fish because I saw it coming. I was getting really, really excited. Probably pulled it right out of his mouth, but that was a really cool experience to see the fish actually come take the bait. Um, it sucks that he missed it, but it was really cool. All right, we're throwing the anchor down and we're going to start fishing with some shad, which is a live bait that we caught in the lake. All right. Got my first fish. There you go. <laughs> Oh. All right, here's my first fish. Kind of a small one, but still a nice fish. Can't complain. We'll go ahead and put him in there with his buddy. We are gonna let these ones go. Whoa, he's not happy about having friends. Uh, we are gonna let these two go. We're just gonna, you know, hold on to the fish, take a picture with them, and then we will release them all back into the wild. God, it's a nice looking fish. All right, um, so I, we're fishing with live bait, and right now the fish actually has the hook. Um, and you can see he's taking line off the reel very slowly, but one thing we want to do is let the fish take the bait uh, for about 30 seconds to a minute before we set the hook, because they kind of carry it around in their mouth before they'll actually take it and eat it. All right, guys, so I got one. Oh. Ah, uh, hello. Oh. I think it's the same fish. Watch, you'll have a hook in him. <laughs> Way to go, John. All right, high five. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Very nice, very nice. Mission accomplished, I got one that I wanted to catch. Nice looking fish, big round eyeballs. Little wound there, but that'll heal. Good looking large mouth in this lake. All right, so that's the second fish I've caught today. Uh, I've missed two, I've broke one off, five fish so far. It was actually a pretty productive day. Um, you know, catching that four and a four and a half pound, whatever it is back there, it's a really nice fish, so it's a, uh, all in all, it's been a fantastic day so far. Hopefully we can get a few more in the boat here. Um, but this is a wonderful place to fish, and Rich is a great guide to go fishing with on Lake Casitas.
Alright guys, so uh, this is pretty much the conclusion of our trip. I'd like to thank Rich for taking me out. Check out www.richtauberfishing.com. Um, he's a great guide if you're in the California area and you're looking to catch some bass. We're going to check out the fish in the live well one more time, take a couple pictures, uh, and then I will be headed home. And you will see this fishing video very soon. Thanks for watching guys.